Hi, Mrs. Virgil. How are you? Hi, Mrs. Rahani. I'm well, thank you. What are we going to learn about today? Well, we did promise our subscribers that we would give them a servo video. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to do today. So this is a servo motor. Tower Pro Micro Servo 9G SG90. That's it. The servo has just basically got a small connection on it that rotates 180 degrees, yeah? So it rotates 180 degrees forward and backwards. So if you had some connection on there that you wanted to release, that would be a perfect um, perfect tool to do that. Yeah, and you can get up to, I think, one degree accuracy, which mm. is quite handy. Yeah. We've got three wires on it. You can just about guess what they would all do. Some come with black, uh, yellow, and red. Mm -hmm. This one comes brown, red, and orange. So the ground wire, brown. Yeah. And then you've got the red, the positive wire, yeah. and then the yellow is the arbitrary random wire. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise known as the signal. Yes. I'm connecting at the moment the ground wire to the ground. I'm connecting the uh, positive wire to the red, so I'm representing the same colours. And then the signal pin um, is the yellow or the orange. So I've got those wires connected up. Ground wire is obviously going to go into the ground pin. And then the positive wire is going to go into the 5 volt battery. And then we'll have a digital pin. And I can put it in any of the digital pins. I'll put it into 8. and. That'll just change my coding, so I'll make sure that I'm using digital input 8. So, we've got it all set up. Now we've got to code it. All you've got to remember to do first is insert the servo library. We can do that in Sketch. Include library. We're going to include the servo library. Easy peasy. There we go. And the second thing we want to do is just name our servo. So yeah. the way we name it, we just write servo. What do you want to call it? STEM. <laughs> Such a creative name. Okay, so we've got servo STEM. Yep. Then we need to, it's really easy, you just write the name of your servo and then you use the command attach. If I know how to spell it helps. And of course we remember it has to go orange if it's the right command. Yep. And we just say which pin we attached it to. So okay. we've attached so it to pin 8. I put it into 8. So we say 8. Thank you very much. And then all you got to do, it's really easy, the command to get it to do something is just write. So then we write. And then what you write in write is what angle you want it at. Is. Well, why don't we start off by setting it at zero so we okay. know where the start position is. So we'll set it at zero. We'll give it a bit of a delay so we can see that that's what's happened. Let's say a 100 millisecond delay. And then we'll write it to... 90 degrees, delay it another 100 milliseconds just to see what's going on. That's not 90 degrees though, what's its problem? Is the delay too short? It's moving fast. That is 90 degrees. So actually what we're seeing here is 90 degree rotation. So that's the zero setting, rotates 90 back again. So if we change this now to 180 degrees, let's see if it's going to rotate all the way over here and then back down to zero. So can you change that on the code? 180 there and yes. Yeah. Okay. 80, upload it. <laughs> Let's bounce, people. 